Here in the first reading of St. Paul's letter to the Philippians, that he presents himself to them as a model and example to follow, St. Paul, a true lover of the cross of Christ. And then he begins to lament about those who do not follow his example. He says, Unfortunately, many go about in a way which shows them to be enemies of the cross of Christ. I have said this to you before, this time I say it with tears. Such as these will end in disaster. Their only God is their belly, and their glory is in their shame. I am talking about those who are set upon the things of this world. It made me remember uh, one of the one fact that I read about the recent election that only twenty percent of Americans gave the moral issues of life and family the first priority when casting their vote. And what about the other 80%? Were they intent upon the things of this world, only focusing or giving highest priority to the economy? As St. Paul says, and this is exactly what he's talking about, about being an enemy of the cross of Christ, set on the things of this world, and it will end in disaster. Have we given up serving God to serve manna? Because we cannot have two masters. We must choose the one and hate the other, or despise the one and serve the other. Even the best economic plans cannot help a nation who kills its babies and sacrifices them on the altar of pleasure and convenience. It's impossible. Man's own designs cannot bring about the success of a nation, especially if he is offending God in such a way. God will not bless a nation that condones unnatural vice and seeks to redefine marriage between a man and a woman. As the psalm says, if the Lord does not watch over the city, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. In vain does the watchman keep vigil over that city where God does not watch over it. And God will not watch over us and will not bless us if we don't live and act according to his laws. Again, we can apply Psalm 81 to our present situation. Listen, my people, to my warning, if only you would heed. Let there be no foreign god among you, no worship of an alien god. Power, pleasure, and wealth. I am the Lord your God. Open wide your mouth and I will fill it. But my people did not heed my voice. They did not obey. So I left them in their stubbornness of heart to follow their own designs. Please, please. 